was geared up. Mm. Hey, do you want to work in Germany? Do you need Schengen visa? So there are some details you need to know about Schengen visa. Schengen. Schengen. <laughs> so uh, according to the European Union Commission, citizens of a certain non-European countries must hold a short stay visa when traveling to the Schengen area. Schengen area. Schengen means like in Europe we have Schengen areas like we have 26 countries or 25 I don't know so and then we have like uh, single entry and multiple entry so when you're applying for this Schengen visa you need to state clearly yeah <laughs> and then Kenya is among the countries whose travelers must possess a visa when cross oh. Ugh. I'm falling down when so Kenya is among the countries where whose travelers must process a visa when crossing external borders meaning when you want to go to like Germany and you need to go to Spain eh, Barcelona hmm? Barcelona hmm? <laughs> you need to have Schengen visa Schengen visa uh, mostly is 90 days yeah visa so you need yeah you, you're not supposed to exit 90, 90 days when you're given the Schengen visa so there was a lot of uh, commotion when Mr. President said that in in, in Germany we have 250,000 jobs and people are very curious even the Germans themselves they were roasting us on Twitter they booked us properly like our president set us for trolls on internet yeah we were called a, a, a why are we reasoning with an IQ of 70 you want to move to Germany with an IQ of 70 hey, we were roasted on uh, X meaning Twitter yeah <laughs> so the German embassy to Kenya has announced that those with Schengen visas are planning to travel to their country will continue to enjoy free movement yeah, with the Schengen visa. This comes after the government of Kenya disclosed its migration and mobility agreement with Germany amid confusing statements about the number of Kenyans expected to benefit from the arrangement. Yeah? So there was this uh, De Chavela, De Chavela or De Chavela. Yeah? It's an international media house that reported that Kenyada, Kenyans had secured 250,000 jobs, opportunities eh, in the European nation, that is Germany. Eh? And I think that has been denied by the Federal Republic of Germany. <laughs> they said this is, a, this is a false information. Eh? The agreement between Germany and Kenya does not include any number or quotas of skilled workers who will have to have the opportunity to work in Germany. Germany Interior Ministry said in the statement, yeah, with your Schengen visa you can travel to Germany but finding work in Germany is a little bit tricky, yeah. So the news attracted debates both in Kenya and Germany, yeah. I've told you, with individuals and institutions seeking facts, mm? Kenyans seeking employment opportunities in Europe countries can apply for Schengen visa. But Schengen visa, you can uh, get Schengen visa and then you, you come to Germany. When you're in Germany, now you can apply for jobs. When you get your jobs, they give you contracts. You come back to Kenya. Hmm? You go back to Kenyan embassy in Kenya. And then they issue with a long, long term visa. <laughs> People are asking, what is Schengen visa? Schengen visa <laughs> is an entry permit for non European nationals to make a short or temporal visit visit of up to 90 days in any 180 days to a country in the Schengen area <laughs> and then I've told you Schengen visas come in three forms including a single entry visa which allows a traveler to enter the Schengen area once and a multiple entry visa which allows several visits to the Schengen area for a long for as long as the visa is valid yeah and then we have the third one, which is, after, I've already told you, yeah, the third one is an airport transit visa, which allows one to connect through the international transit area of an airport in the Schengen area during a stopover or a change of flights. Like, like in Germany, we have uh, Frankfurt. That's the biggest airport. I made a video in, uh, in Frankfurt. Go check it. Frankfurt airport. I, get, I got lost in Frankfurt airport also, I missed my flight in Frankfurt. There are a lot of videos, yeah, arriving in Frankfurt, yeah, go check my videos. Mm. But with the, the uh, transit visa, it doesn't allow you to leave the international transit area. So, you have to stay in the airport. Mm -hmm. 
who can apply for Schengen visa? <laughs> yeah, according to European people, a citizen of a certain nine EU. Nine EU means people uh, from other countries apart from European Union. <laughs> you must hold a short stay visa when traveling to the Schengen area. Mm -hmm. And then Kenya is among the countries whose travelers must possess a visa when crossing external borders. Mm -hmm. Even Asians, Afghanistan, Algeria, Angola, Botswana, Burkina Faso, you have to have a Schengen visa. Mm -hmm. Some of the third world countries whose nationals are exempted from holding a visa when crossing external borders include Albania, Antigua, Barbuda, Barbuda Argentina, Australia, Chile, Colombia, Costa Rica, Israel and Japan and others mm -hmm. and then there are also exceptions to the visa requirements for certain types of travelers to certain countries including diplomats armed forces refugees and pupils on school trips hey, hey. so where can we apply the Schengen visa mm -hmm. <laughs> applications for a Schengen visa mm -hmm. are done at the consulate of the country you intend to visit if you are visiting more than one Schengen country apply at the consulate of country where you spend the longest. Yeah, if you're going like in Europe, if you're going to spend a lot of time in uh, Spain, go to Spanish embassy or Spain embassy. If you are traveling to a how do you call it, uh, French France, go to French embassy in Kenya. If you're spending a lot of time in Germany, go to Germany embassy at the riverside in Nairobi. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. And you can book appointment online. Nowadays it's very tricky. You just go online, fill in your details and your passport number, and then you wait for them to give you a date where you can go for German interview. <laughs> These guys, hey, they want to finish us. Yeah. For multiple entry visas, the expiry date should be at least three months after the departure of the last country visited. Yeah. Other requirements are a visa application form, a photo in compliance with the ICAO standard, medical insurance covering emergency medical care and hospitalization and repatriation, including an event where you can die when you are maybe cruising with a ship or accident, you get hit, yeah. And then you need to have other supporting documents relating to the purpose of your stay, evidence of the financial means and accommodation during your stay, and evidence of your intention to return to your home country after your stay. Fingerprints will be collected when you submit your application. application. <laughs> and then the normal, hey, yeah. there's uh, something here. Yeah. You know this one? Totoys. Toto is, Toto is, you are moving. You are stepping on me. So, those are the requirements you need when you are applying for this Schengen visa. Yeah? May, uh, may, my friend, nowadays you cannot stay in Europe like you go and lie, you are from Somalia and you came from Kenya. They check yeah, your fingerprints. Mm -hmm. And then after 5 to 14 days, you receive your passport because when you go like to German embassy, you have to leave your how do you call it? You, you have to leave your uh, passport with uh, a G4S and then G4S will collect your passport and then bring it at the location where you said like in Mombasa, Nakuru, Kericho, Nairobi, Rongai or anywhere. And then when you get your visa or you don't get your visa, your passport will come through the G4S. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.